Good morning, welcome back to a brand new video. It is, what day is it today? I'm all over the show, I'll tell you why in a minute, but Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday today, let me just pop you here. And let's have a chat. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then please do stick around and subscribe. I make videos every week and um, at the weekends on Sundays, the vlog that you're watching, I vlog. So um, I'm doing a bit of an old school weekly vlog. I'm not got much planned, so it's just gonna be running errands, at home, chilling, maybe a bit of shopping, houseware stuff. In fact, first little house update. I got this yesterday from Lidl, my new ficus plant. Let me just show you. I've put it on our windowsill, because as you can see, it gets the light in the morning, which I Googled, and that's what it said to do. And then I just put this clean cotton Primark candle, which was £2.50 next to it. I had this burning last night. It's gone like a kind of subtle pinky hue but anyway that just goes nicely beside my new plan me and Lydia who is another Instagrammer blogger youtuber here and friend we haven't had a chance to shoot in Manchester in ages it literally feels like ages it's been weeks she was away then I was ill and <sighs> yeah in fact, you can see my plaster mark there from when I was in hospital. It was basically a bad bout of food poisoning. I got a bit of pain in my stomach and it lasted all day. It got more intense and it just didn't go away to the point where I then started being sick, TMI. My stomach was not good, let's just put it that way. And I was at home alone, I didn't know what to do. So I called 111 just for advice told them all my symptoms and they actually recommended an ambulance come out to me just to check on me because my, my issue was that I kept going really faint. So long story short, they came out to see me at which point Tom just got back home from cricket. So he was out on the field. So I did message him, but he was obviously playing cricket. Didn't really want to disturb him anyway or bring him home early just to look after me. So, um, Anyway, when he picked up on the message, once cricket finished, he came straight home and they literally more or less arrived at the same time, the ambulance and Tom. So the ambulance checked me over and said that I could either come into hospital or just wait on doctor's orders, like get a call from a doctor. Potentially they might want me to go in and see him. They might give me some anti-sickness medicine. And this was all happening like at eight o'clock at nine o'clock at night so I just said yeah that's fine let's go with that because I'd been very sick already and I thought that you know I'm at my ease anyway whilst the ambulance were there I kept going really faint so they checked my blood pressure they kept on checking it it was dropping so they were like actually we're not going to do that we're going to take you in <sighs> and i hate hospitals and everything but you know at least you're in the best place they put me in a really nice room it was actually built for dementia patients so it was all like blue lit with this cherry blossom on the ceiling a big like fish tank screen so it's very calming and then they discharged me after a few hours so tom bless him was waiting with me and then drove me home at like 3 a.m we got to bed we had a long well we slept through i've started feeling better each morning this is now the third morning i've woken up this is all sunday so it's now thursday so this is the fourth morning i've woken up since then and i am feeling much better i've still eating small portions just to like be careful and make sure that everything is you know digesting easily my stomach will have shrunk i will have lost a bit of weight <laughs> bonus no i'm kidding but obviously health is so important but yeah that is still my plaster mark from when i had the iv drip oh i hate all that stuff anyway ended up being a bit of a chatty intro but yeah this week is going to be a lot of chit chats updates homeware stuff just nice cozy at home in fact i do want to have a look at tk maxx home sense at some point this week because i've noticed all the autumnal stuff is starting to come in so keeping my eyes peeled for that over the next coming weeks because we are now into August which is practically September which is definitely 
autumn. I might also have a look around B&M, Home Bargains this week, the range. So this morning I'm going to go grab myself a bit of breakfast. I've not eaten yet, I need something to eat. And then at some point I'm going to go into Burnley and hand in my iPad which I am selling. If you saw my cash converters vlog where I did a full home clear out declutter and sale, uh, there was one item which I wanted to sell which is this iPad which I couldn't because for some reason the iPad wasn't letting me reboot it so I had to take it into Apple. That's all done now so I'm going to drop that off into cash converters. They're giving me £50 for it so I have a nice little spendos for um for some homeware updates, I don't know. Oh, I need to go to the post office as well this morning to drop off something that's sold on eBay. And I was also on Instagram this morning and spotted that there is a news of flora, the summer berries. I got my hands on the mandarin and lime one, which is probably one of my favorites. I've been using that recently and yeah, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for those flora summer berries. And I've actually got myself into kind of some workout gear just so that I have a bit of a productive productive day and might even at some point get a chance to go to the gym but just take it easy again just maybe do the treadmill get my body moving i like to listen to a podcast or an audiobook whilst i'm there so i have a podcast from pretty little thing with hannah renee which i still want to listen to so welcome to a very chatty intro i hope you enjoy the rest of this video if you do have any like homework update questions or anything like that for me just pop them down below or message me over on my instagram and i hope you don't mind these more at home chill vlogs thumbs up if you do although there is quite a lot of final clearance on fashion so i might have a quick look oh i love this like speckled homeware set 3.99 for a bowl 2.99 for a plate i'm guessing it's yeah 3.99 for a bigger plate they're really nice these syrups always make me feel very autumnal with flavors like caramel cream cheesecake, cookie dough, salted caramel mocha, brown sugar cinnamon sounds amazing, cinnamon vanilla, yum. 14 99 I'm after a, oh that's nice. I'm after some kind of like shallow but wide dish to put all my cactus plants into. I want them all in one but they're all quite deep, the ones here. Let me show you. So I want one maybe like this wide. I guess I could put a lot of soil in. Or there's this one. Oh, that's only 6 .99. Oh yeah, that's heavy, but I think I'm gonna get that one actually. This one would be good. Quite a nice, unique shape and it's got a stand on it as well, but I don't really have this coppery kind of colour in my house. Okay, candle section. Oh, yeah, pumpkin spice. That was only 2 99 pumpkin spice. How exciting. They have all of these ones as well. Pecan and pumpkin seed. And they've got these. There's a lot of DW home ones. I think they're an American company. Um, I like the Olivia Blake candles as well. I've just smelt this one and pumpkin spice and that one smells amazing. I like the branding of this. Bliss. Doesn't really have a smell though. Nice, right? 49. Oh my god, RRP 40 pounds. This is another fave section of mine, the like notebook section. And how pretty is this notebook it's got like flecks of gold on it and it's like a very subtle beigey pink 4.99 30 pounds 
huge. Nice little like throw on the bed. This is £10, £9.99. Having to climb across because this guy's uh, parked too close to me. This I ended up coming out with. My new little pot for my cactus plants. I feel like I might need some soil for that, so that might mean a trip to being cute. I keep getting weird spasms in my hand from when they try they try to put the drip in at this point and before putting it in my arm and it didn't go in. <laughs> I can't even talk about that sort of stuff. So sorry if you guys are squeamish too. But I felt all my veins, like they feel all cold. It's weird. I just, it doesn't feel cold. It's just like tender. Anyway, and also when they did a little finger prick for a blood test at home before doing all in my arm. And again, when, in, when I was in hospital and they tried to do a blood test in my arm, just like with my finger they couldn't get any out and it's because i was like cold to the touch but um oh i can't even talk about that stuff it, i'm so squeamish it's ridiculous anyway moving on now to cash converters where i'm gonna trade in my ipad i can't vlog and drive because <laughs> All signed, sealed, delivered with cash converters now. My iPad is now sold. I am parked up outside Curry's and Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's because I love their homeware and I might get some stories and highlight them over on my Instagram home account whilst I'm in there. And Curry's, I'm kind of tempted just to see if they have a some kind of like a car mount that I can put this camera on so that I can do more vlogging whilst driving. And also I wanna see if they've got the new G7X Mark III in, just to have a play around, just to compare the quality. Vlogger kit. So this is one I currently have. They just said online's best bet, so um, for the actual mount like Amazon or something. So I'm gonna head into Sainsbury's now and check out the homeware. This is a cute little notepad, but five pounds. I do, oops, I do find with Sainsbury's home that it is a little pricey, um, but I do really like their stuff. This would have been quite a good pot as well, but look, 20 pounds compared to my 6.99. This is quite a cute little section that they have. I'm a fan of this kind of decor. What's this? Oh, candle. This section is good if you're like greens and greys. But see what I mean by it's quite pricey. For a supermarket, I think it's quite pricey. This little succulent pot is 12 pounds. Reduced to clear. This is not really fun homeware update, but we do really need some new cushions. We have one set that's nice, but the other set are like losing their shape. And also I get like bad neck aches, so I feel like I want to invest in some good cushions. So any recommendations, not cushions, pillows to sleep on. This is a book that I recently finished and I wasn't that keen to read it, but it is actually quite a good read. And this is another one that I have but yet to read. Okay, we're in the cleaning aisle. Oh, I've heard good stuff about this. I think it's cheaper at Home Bargains and B&M though, so I might wait until I go there. There it is. Oh, they have their Paradise Peach. They have loads of different scents, but not the new one, so. I guess the new one is probably similar to this. It's just called Summer Berries. That one's a really nice one, Lemon Zing and Lavender Escape for the bedroom. I need some more Unstoppables actually, but they have these like dupe versions. I wonder if it's worth giving them a try. These ones are my favourite. Lavish. Oh, well they've got Comfort Intense ones. I think I might wait until they go on offer. Next stop for my plant pot down there is being cute. This is the little house plant section. We've got one of these in our bathroom and it's lasted so long. Well, it's still growing. And I love these palms as well. We did have one, but we've recently had to get rid of it. Um, but it did last a long time. Let's have a look outside. These are pretty. I like the white ones up the top. 
I like these as well actually. We're after some new outdoor plants for our little garden area, but they're like troughs rather than actual plant pots. They're pretty as well. Um, I actually don't know where to get soil from. <laughs> I've never done this before. Tom usually helps me out. I think I found them. Oh look, they've even got specialist for cacti and succulent pots. Well, we'll go with that one then. That is for 97. what I'm left with. The sun's coming out so I think I'm gonna sit outside for a bit and just listen to my audiobook. Currently I'm listening to this one which is by CJ Cook and it's called I Know My Name. Tonight I am, I can't see a thing, <laughs> I'm going to Tom's mum's for dinner. And for now, vitamin D. Anyway, I thought this was kind of vlog worthy, a bit cringe, a bit cheese, but I wanted to do a little something just to say thank you to Tom for being like the best boyfriend ever and looking after me when I was poorly and running me to hospital, well, running me back from hospital at like 3am and he's just the best. So um, I got him this little card the other day. Well, I actually bought this card. I saw this card and thought of Tom and I thought it was quite apt that like, ah, uh, let me show you. Okay, so <laughs> one thing that I would say with me and Tom, if, if we were to like ask ourselves, what's one thing that annoys the other person about them, if that makes sense, is his untidiness. And it just made me laugh. It made me think of him. I saw this in TK Maxx, so I picked it up. Although we don't really have an anniversary date, we never celebrate an anniversary or anything like that, I do know that we met each other in August. So it's pretty much, it's August now, so it's been pretty much five years since we met. So I'm going to run to the shop, grab five scratch cards for every year we met, put them in here. And then in here I've got a nice little message, messages and different reasons of why I appreciate him and why I love him. So I'm going to pop that in. I just thought that was a cute little idea for a little sentimental kind of thank you card. Have a nice day at work. Tom's bought a house. Hey, not for us. <laughs> what are you gonna do about that flat that we went to see? It's a no. Put off our building. Yeah, something to do with cladding issues. So we're still kind of looking. But with homemade coleslaw salad, pasta, just waiting on the chicken, enjoying the outdoor sunshine. Whilst it lasts, because I don't think it's gonna be around for long. Chef told me bring in the pièce de la résistance. What are they? Sausages. What flavour are they? Moroccan. Nice. Bon appétit. You can't be there, pal. Tired. You're taking the photo. Yeah. <laughs> Bit you with him. Like he's sleeping rough, don't he, outside? Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, <laughs> With the <laughs> with the vodka as well next to you. <laughs> well, I've, since I've come in here tonight, all I've got is grief. Oh, oh stop. stop! You don't get grief, yeah. He's smiling. Tell me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> morning guys I didn't get a chance to go to the gym yesterday and I ended up just obviously out and about um so I'm gonna go this morning it's actually now 10 o'clock but I've got some work done this morning that I needed to do so I'm gonna take my phone my audiobook and honestly just walk just get my body moving maybe even do like an hour on the treadmill the gym is right next to a B&M and a Poundland
all done and that was good. I feel good for getting my body moving. But it's hot. I hope you enjoyed this little come to the gym with me. Let me know if you want any more like that. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, I needed that compost yesterday. The one that I got from B&Q. 10 litres a pound. Right, let's head into Poundland. This is fast becoming one of my favourite aisles. And I always look out for the Mrs. Hinch recommend. But um, I think, have Poundland stopped doing Zaflora? I think they have. I think they have their own version. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, they have that flowera. <laughs> but I think they've actually stopped. At least our one has anyway. Uh, do I need anything new? Always. Who's a Strictly fan? I'm like neither here nor there with it. But Saffron Barker's on it this year. So they're obviously liking the YouTubes on Strictly. These are new, I've not seen these vases before. In fact, I think I saw them on Mr. Carrington's channel, but they're nice. I love the sound of these Maryland like special edition, double chocolate, Mississippi mud pie, and this one in particular, New York cheesecake. Oh my God, yum, and they're two for one. They have some new stationery, which I've not seen before. Just slaying. Badass Babes Club. And then they've also got the Boss In It Girl Power and Babe in the notebooks. The mint and the lilac and lemon. They're all really pretty like pastel colours. I like them. Boss In It. Revision cards. And then all this rose gold stuff as well which I love the look of. Always a fan of a to-do list. And then this is quite cute as well. Simple and plain. Some kind of a little calendar. I like this lilac colour and this is still good for this time because it's a 2019 to 2020. Right now let's head into B&M Bargains. They have the new scent, the mandarin and lime, which I'm actually a big fan of. I've got two of these already. Well, one of them I'm already nearly through. Um, but yeah, definitely try and get your hands on this because it's so good. I've got Paradise Peach, but can't see the new Summer Berries one. The Unstoppables are on offer, so I'm going to get my favourite one in Lavish. Oh, I've not seen these ones before. Active. Has anyone tried these new range of candles and rediffuses? Yeah, I'm intrigued because they obviously look like my kind of style. I love the branding and obviously they're like Jo Malone dupe scents. But yeah, let me know if you've tried them. Last chance to buy on all their Yankee candles, but that lemon lavender sounds nice. I just don't like the colouring for interior, but it does sound nice. How oh, cute. $4.99. They're very fake though. these not just like the minky cloths but you get three for two pounds mm, is it worth trying these out what do you think these candles are cute apple basket mm. let's try vanilla dream one pound oh no i don't like that one mm. Maybe not. So I'm finally back home. I need to have some lunch first, but then I'm going to be doing a bit of a budgeting, admin -y type invoicing afternoon. I've got my to do list here, which is Home Bargains, £1.49. I got this ages ago now from Wilco's, £2.50 it was, and it is a 
budget planner. So what I like to do at the end of every month, I like to just go through my bank and receipts and everything like that. Make sure I've got all my expenses listed down. Being self-employed, you need to like know all these things. And I also came back to a parcel, so I thought I would open it up with you guys. It's from Clarins, I can see, because I've just opened it up. And they have released their new autumn makeup collection. Ooh. The Jolly Blush at £27 each. And then the Natural Lip Perfectors at £18.50 each. Number 8, Cheeky Mocha. And I think that'll be a nice contour colour. And then number 6, Cheeky Coral. And then I also got the two lip perfectors in number 16 intense rosebud and number 19 intense smoky rose in fact what i think i'm going to do this week is do a weekly vlog giveaway i know i used to do them every week and a couple of people have asked why I, i've stopped or why i don't do them so often i do still want to do them but more sporadically and then sometimes on my instagram stories as well so if you don't already follow me on instagram for a one I want to do them more on there and here and just mix it up a bit so it's not a regular thing because I found that people were subscribing just to enter the giveaway but not interacting, not being active on my channel, even unsubscribing after they've entered and I just thought it was unfair for you guys who do actually watch every week because it's you that I want to give back to, not someone that just comes on randomly to enter a giveaway and then goes. Fun times. I actually really like admin. Is that a bit sad? Mm, probably. Just had a delivery and it's a pretty big box so I thought I would show it to you guys. It's down here. This is the lunch I've made. I went with some... What's this called? Tortelloni? Tortelloni? And I've also done myself some spinach and tomatoes just to throw a bit of extra nutrition in there. My water, I need to refill. I'm just going to watch a couple of YouTube videos whilst I eat this. And then I'm going to crack that box open. from Boohoo in this gorgeous Aperol shade. It's a thong body slash, I'm guessing it's a swimsuit, but maybe it's just a bodysuit. A little Essie nail polish, again in Aperol orange. A pretty little thing scrunchy. We actually don't have any Aperol. Well, now we do. Yay, Aperol. Da, da, da. A bottle of Prosecco. Oh, nice. This is called the Cinsano Prosecco. And these are going straight on our drinks trolley. Oh, I am hot. I've literally been cleaning the house and sorting through loads of stuff and I've just given the hob a clean, well currently in the process of cleaning. I've done all the drains, soda crystals upstairs in the bathroom. First time ever I've bought this Sif cream so I might use that in a full house clean because I just used a uh, hob bright uh, this time round. Let's get some of this on the carpet. I don't have carpets down here, but on the rug. The 1001 Carpet Fresh in Fresh Linen and White Flowers. So if ever you've used this before, I've already hoovered, so I'll just spritz a load of that. This is the one I'd usually put on before hoovering up the Glade Shake and Vac. I've got Lily of the Valley. Oh, God. I'm so close. <laughs> that really scared me. Oh, I've also got these which I've not used yet. These Flash Magic Erasers. And I want to do the wall here. So let's just do it now, shall we? Tom spilt some dinner all down the wall. All those marks, gross. It's got a majority, the majority of it off, but there are some bits that are very stained and just, it ain't budging. Ew. Hello, good morning. Excuse the hair on top of my head. I've got comfies on today. My Jack Wills joggers. Water. 
and it's pretty much a chilled Saturday today. I've lit all the candles. I've had a bit of a sweep of the house in terms of like a hoover, put a wash on. I actually need to put that wash out. Um, but Tom's cricket, he's just waiting. I was gonna go over and watch him play, but it's forecast rain all day. So he is currently at the cricket club and it's about half an hour drive, just over half an hour for us to get there. So I'm not gonna go yet because there's a good chance it's gonna get rained off and he'll be back home. So waiting on that, there's also a like food stalls and stuff there. So he said he's gonna bring some treats home if it does get rained off. I went through the drinks trolley yesterday and cleared out all the drinks that we don't want. And I also cleared out this drawer here, which had a load of seasonal things in so we've got some easter bits which i've just put in that basket and some halloween bits in that basket i don't know where i'm going to put these maybe i might just store them away down in the cellar I cleared out this drawer which is now full of all our dvds need to like organize these drawers and oh look at this tom bought me this when I think this was two, not the like, Christmas just gone, the one before when I was nearly at 10,000 subscribers. How cute of him, and it had champagne in it. So the house is smelling delightful. It's all nice and clean and tidy. I've moved the bean bag in here. I quite like it in here, so I think I'm gonna keep that in here. And I bought this a while ago, just from a charity shop, I think, in one of my charity shop halls. And it's like one of these paint by numbers. And it was built for a day like today where I've not really got work that needs to be done. I mean, I have work to do, but it's not urgent. So I can wait until Monday and have a bit of a weekend off. I've got my laptop there. I've got some YouTube videos to catch up on. This is where I've got so far and I'm just on my second color. A little bit of wind down time to get away get my mind off social media even though i'm going to be watching youtube videos but <laughs> whatever i also just finished the audio book i know my name i'm going to rate it five stars because i actually in fact overall four stars performances for audible yet yeah, was fine story again four stars just because i feel like I kind of wish that the ending was a little bit different, but it wasn't disappointing. I like thrillers with plot twists and like shocking moments and it wasn't really as shocking. I mean, it was a little bit predictable, but anyway, it was okay, it was okay. So that is now finished. I need to get onto my new book, which the new book that we're reading, if you don't know, I'm part of a book club, which I've actually only been to one meeting, which my friend introduced me to this club. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll come along because I need to read more, I need to get into it. The next book is 1963, it's called, which is all about uh, something to do with the Moors murders. Uh, which I actually think I'm gonna like. I do know the story quite well, but um, it's the Ian Brady mirror. Oh, <laughs> what's she called? Maybe I don't know it as well as I thought. What's she called? Um, Myra Henley. Myra Henley and Ian Brady. If you guys want to join in as well, I like to do it on Audible so that when I'm doing journeys and things in the car or going out for a walk, it gets me moving because I'm thinking if I sit in the house, I'll get distracted with TV or YouTube. The Audible is $7.99 a month, so it's not too bad. And you get one book for that. I think you can buy extra credits or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. I just know that I pay $7.99 a month for it and it's pretty good. to vlog the Chinese what a shame we're actually just having a bit of a movie marathon afternoon we're on to our third movie what was the first one we watched called we own the night we own the night and then we've just watched road trip like a funny one to break it up and now one of my faves because of Margot Robbie can you guess what it is you see boxes down there on the floor. We're watching Suicide Squad. Yay! Oh my god, look how pale I am compared to you. This is not fair. <laughs> Can we actually pause it? Because I was going to do a giveaway in this vlog. 
so I have collected a few items that to give away to you guys this week, all of which are here. Oops. So I'm going to pop these in an envelope and post it to one of you guys. We have some jewellery from Betty and Biddy, some LA Girl Brow Pomade, some Your Good Skin Sleep Paste, some Sleek Makeup, Makeup Palette, Red Cherry Lashes, some LA Girl Gloss Plumping Lip Gloss and a Lime Crime Blush. So in order to win all of those, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, make sure that notification bell is switched on, it's very important for me and for my channel, so make sure that bell is switched on so you can be notified every time I upload and once that is done, pop in the comments down below some way of contacting you so that in a week's time when I choose a winner, if you're the chosen one, I can reach out to you, so whether it be an Instagram, Twitter handle or an email address, just pop it in the comments down below and you will automatically be entered. So best of luck. Thank you to everybody for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. I have an exciting one next week. I have a couple of trips planned to Manchester, some horse riding. So some fun things uh, planned in for next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that and I will hope to see you guys then. Bye guys.